I think um, the feeling of the people of this country, in my view, is justified. Because at the end of the day, we are going to a competition that we've not won in 42 years. If yeah. we fail to win this one, then the last time we won it was 42 years ago. So personally, I would have thought that that should year after year serve as a motivation to put an end mm. to that jinx. And by so doing, we have to be honest and sincere. Mm. There has to be a plan, proper plan that we can all abide by and follow over the years. We've not done so. So at the end of the day, once you go to the tournament without taking the best players that, we, that we've got mm. as Ghanaians, such performances will be there. To win such tournament, you need to ensure that there's consistency in your performance. Mm. Believe you me, the Black Stars have won only one out of their past 11 Afghan games. Mm. Until this tournament, we had won one game in yeah, nine, I think nine in, games. in nine games, one out of nine. When things like that are happening, and you are part of those decision makers, you need to sit down mm. and do sober reflection and come up with an immediate, you have the, 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 the immediate, the, the medium and then the long, short, long, medium and then yeah. long-term plan so that you give yourself every chance mm. of going to rectify the problem. Now, this is where we all started from. I remember very well that when Keto Kreku took over the REM as Ghana Football Association, mm. the moment he chose himself to be the chairman of juvenile football in this country, it was a decision that went so well with me mm. because I believe that is the base. If you get the base right, you will definitely flourish when it comes to the apex of the game, which is the Black Stars. But unfortunately, when he took over the realm of our football, he's only seeing himself and those in and around him. When I say those in and around, I'm referring to the ESCO members. They all have football teams mm. that they run. Go to our under 15, our under 17, our under 20 teams. It is dominated by players playing for these people's teams. They are Ghanaians accepted, but they are not necessarily the best players in the country. Mm. So if you restrict your, your pool and you don't open the net to bring in the very best, you will struggle like we have struggled. Mm. Fast forward. We got the opportunity to go to the World Cup. The day Ketu Kriku insisted that he had to appoint Oto Ado as the head coach of the Black Stars, I knew, and I said it on Sports Panorama, that we were doomed for the next five years. Mm -hmm. Why did I say that? The Black Stars were not going to win the World Cup. Mm -hmm. So I saw that as a preparatory ground for this particular AFCO. So I told the people, I told the FA people that, look, give the job to somebody who will prepare our team, having this particular Afghan in mind, for us to go and win it. Mm. That, that, that person would be Chris Hilton. Chris Hilton was in the shadows at the time. No, so, at the time, I didn't think he was the man for the mm. job. I've always said from day one, don't give so the job to Chris So you wanted us to go get a new person. I wanted us to go and get somebody mm. who is, is, who is top-notch, mm. who will build but, our but, team. But Chris Hilton is top-notch. No, he's, he's coached not. in the premiership and all of that. Yes, that's, he's that's, done that. That's if good you, experience. That's good experience. But if you look at his trend of coaching, mm. I think he's fell off the modern era of mm. what coaching about. All his methods are archaic. Mm. And we are seeing it in the tournament. The FA president didn't listen. Mm. He gave the Black Stars job to a caretaker manager. Somebody who kept telling the whole country that he would not commit to Ghana. Yet still, we took him to the World Cup. When a legend of our game, Joseph Addo, formerly of the Black Stars, 1992-1996, spoke against that appointment. That no, a country like Ghana should be going to the Mundial, to the World Cup, the proper coach, with the proper coach. Substantive coach. Substantive coach. Somebody who we can tax. Go and give a good showing at the World Cup. But we are going to tax you to win the AFCON. Is it not because of the drama that surrounded our qualification? The president was so impressed. The president told him on phone, we all heard that yes. he is coming to do no, the work and, and to, all of that. We are not to work based on emotions. Mm. But football that is was emotions. Only, no, football is not all about emotions. Mm. If you allowed your emotions to get the better side of you, mm. your brain goes to sleep, mm. you will suffer like we are suffering now. Mm. So the Otoato appointment was wrong. 
Now, just after that, go into the AFCON. We had about a year to prepare into the AFCON. You don't go and get rid of Otuado and keep the same technical team that was part of an abysmal coaching team at the World Cup. Mm. Chris Hilton was part of the Otuado technical team. He was, in fact, the technical advisor. Mm -hmm. Masao Didi Dramani was there. George Boatin was there. These were Otuado two direct assistants. We kept seeing a problem. A problem of a very fragile mental group. This Black Stars team is fragile. It is mentally fragile. The team weak. Proper. The team. Very weak mentally. With Thomas Pate, the day are you and they are Jordan very weak. playing at a very high level. I'm telling very you, as a group, weak. as an individual, as a group. they may be solid. Mm. But as a unit, they are a weak team. Because look, the problem we've experienced throughout the World Cup is still occurring in this particular AFCON. Go and check. We are unable to keep a lead. Once we concede, in the next five to ten minutes, you bet your last bet, so we will concede again. And it's happening. Time and then that's down again. to mental toughness that's or down tactics. To, that's not necessarily tactics. Mm. You can be doing tactically very, very well. But if mentally the mm. players are not communicating with themselves, then there's going to be an issue. Mm. Look at the goals we gave away against Egypt. Mm. These were fundamental routines that shouldn't and, 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 and these errors were committed by top players. Inaki is doing well in That's his right. club. Uh, Bukhari is doing so well in his club, That's scoring right. in Champions League etc., at the That's highest right. level. That's right. So how, how do we blame the coach or the technical team for no, no, individual no. errors? No, look, go and look at the game again. About 60% of the Black Stars passing was backwards. Mm. So what Inaki did was part of the DNA of the mm. team. We hardly passed the ball forward. We have, in the tournament, we are playing with midfielders who cannot kick the ball forward. So what Inaki did was what the coaches have but, told but why, why couldn't they kick the ball forward? Were they afraid that the ball... Why, why so? Because what I realized, especially in the Egypt game, was right. when the Egyptians got the ball, the ball quickly progressed to, to, right. the, to our side. That's right. But when we got the ball, we were always... We were going backwards, backwards, backwards and all of that. Why, why so? It's know? because of the, the, the quality of players we've taken to the tournament. Mm. That is what is so painful to somebody like me, shocking to me. Because when you are selecting your team, there has to be balance. Mm. You cannot go with the same type of player or similar players. There should be balance and variation in every department. The players we've taken to the tournament, all the midfielders we've taken to the tournament, none of them are forward thinking midfield. They are really? sideways. Yes, sideways. I mean, Kudus? No. Kudus is part of the attacking third. Okay. So we need people to get the ball mm. to him for him to mm. go and punish the opponent. But if, if you look at the back line... Asimero is one of those. Asimero hardly passes team. the ball 60, 70 yards. Mm. He wants to run. There is, there is, if there is space in front of you, you do that. But if there's no space, you should be able to pick the passes. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen Kudus somewhere over the years. Michael Esten, Steven Apia, Lai Kingston, Suleiman Tari, Mubarak Wakaso. If we didn't have players like that, the Black Stars wouldn't have beaten and go like. But do we still have players like that in Ghana? The coaches decided not to take them to the uh, players. Who, who are they? Players like Alfred Duncan, mm. like Jeffrey Schlob, like Bernard Mensah. Yeah, Jeffrey Schlob. I mean, yes. he did that so well in Crystal Shocking. Palace. Why, why was he not taken? You, you see, proud to the World Cup, when when he, he was dropped, he had an issue, dropped, and I'm sure he said a few things. He never said anything. His really? agent spoke. His agent spoke. That's true. But you his agent, agent is his agent, so he speaks for at the, end of the, at, at the end of the day. The boy would not control exactly what his agent would say. Mm. Even if the agent sp uh, spoke and he didn't speak well, do we dwell over that and punish 32, 35 million people? Mm. You just rightly said that that is one thing that brings all of us together. I said our poli mm. even politics are tend to, to divide us. So is, is this is a unified commodity. This is the, the most precious commodity we have mm. as a country when it comes to sports. The mm. only sp uh, thing that eventually brings all Ghanaian together. So when you have been elected or you are choosing to run our football, you don't thrive on trivial matters Very well. by not saying that because Jeffrey Schlock agent spoke mm. and therefore you are completely excluded the ball from that. Look at the way we are suffering. Mm. Why is Alfred Duncan not in this thing? He is on record to have said he won't play for Ghana mm. again. But there is a way out. But if he says he won't play, he won't play. No, but did yeah. they have said he won't play? Mm. It took the former president, John Dramani Mahama, to rectify that, as mm. Samajan said, he won't play. It took the, the former president, Mr. John Ajekom Kufo, to fix that. Lionel Messi said he won't play for it. In fact, he said that twice. Mm. But the people of Argentina... And even Zidane. Exactly. 
you need to go and talk to them because it's about the country. So if you, the boy would not just wake up and say, I won't play for Ghana. Something might have, Something triggered, might have triggered that. Mm. So you address the problem. Somebody like Bernard Mensah, one of our very good, technically gifted players, have said about six years now that he won't play for Ghana. And if I tell you the reason for which he said he won't play for Ghana, you marveled. He's got issues with the IU brothers. Mm. And therefore, he felt that until they are, for as long as they are in the team, he wants to stay away. These are trivial matters that people in high position, people we'll call, them and, call them and sit them down and quickly mm. fix the problem and get the whole I, country I, to benefit. I, I have to go to